Hey guys, Silent CL here. Welcome back to the Uta Maker's Gacha video. So before we start the day, let's say happy birthday to Milene Chan. Yes, today is actually her birthday. It's the 2nd of February 2021. So yes, Milene celebrates her birthday today, the same day that Kaname's Gacha comes out. So that's pretty exciting. So two different Gachas to pull from. Um, depending on who you are a bigger fan of, if you are a bigger fan of Milane, of course pull Milane's birthday banner where you will have a higher chance of getting your waifu's 6-star um, or 7-star episode play. And of course, if you are a big Kaname fan, definitely pull Kaname's gacha. Uh, of course, if you are a Milane fan, you also might want to consider pulling Kaname's gacha since her 7-star plate is going to help you get bonus points um, throughout the whole month of February. So yeah, so we're gonna do both um, gachas today. I'm definitely not sure if I want to pull as many as I want from Elaine's birthday banner because well, I don't exactly have a lot of singing stones available. Although I could, uh, I also like to save up more singing stones for, you know, Mikumo and Freya's um, Valkyrie Third Life costumes. Um, those are pretty kind of important to me because I really like those costumes. <laughs> I mean, even uh, I mean, considering that Mikumo and Freya aren't exactly my top tier um, divas from the Macross franchise, uh, I'm sure you guys know by now. I'm a big Ranka and Reina and Makina fan. Uh, Makina not so much, but you know, Reina comes with Makina. You know, buy one get one free. So, <laughs> anyways. Let's take a look at, you know, Kaname's main gacha episode plate if you can see that my game is loading well because I've actually transferred my game to my iPhone 8 Plus. Um, previously, I've always been playing it two time across on my iPhone 6S Plus and it's time to retire that phone. So yeah, uh, it's time to move on with a newer model. Um, yes, I've actually bought myself an iPhone Pro, uh, iPhone 12 Pro Max um, as my main usage phone which I will be using um, to film my unboxing videos in the future so look forward to better quality video content um, at least the camera quality um, then for Uta Macross at least um, I'm using you know the game on a better condition phone as previously when I was playing my Uta Macross game on iPhone 6s plus uh you wouldn't believe how um you know delicate i had to be with my iphone 6s plus when recording utam across content because the slightest touch of my cable they will disconnect uh you know the recording and all this kind of thing so yeah that's exactly how much pressure i i had to overcome whenever i'm doing an utam across gacha video so yes guys, hopefully you guys appreciate all the content, make sure you hit the like button and of course make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed just yet. And if you are brand new to the channel, make sure you hit that bell notification icon as well. Alright, so let's take a look at Kaname's episode play. I'm sure it's definitely better than Basara's. So as usual, the 7 star episode plates do not come with any special notes attached to them. Pay attention to who else can use this episode plate, especially if they are your waifus. Uh, and all that, so it's nice to see that Milane is actually usable. <laughs> Alright, 4,335, look at that, that total score beats Basara out the ballpark by 35 points. Um, seems like, you know, Kaname focuses a bit more on, on voice, and of course, slightly higher stats on soul instead of charm. So yeah, overall, you know, the stats alone outweighs Basara's hobo costume. <laughs> so, I don't know, Basara, I'm so sorry, Basara fans. I don't understand why your husband though is getting this kind of treatment from Dana. Uh, it seems a bit unfair, <laughs> considering that he is the main diva featured for this event. Alright, so let's move along. I'm sure everyone knows what, you know, the usual center skill for 7-star episode plate is. You know, the same old, same old use on the, you know, the divas main series song and you get the double S rank skill, that kind of stuff. Alright, then of course the active skill is the usual thing and the main important thing to see whether the 7 star episode plate might be worthwhile is the life skill. So score up 
So at the 55 second mark for 10 seconds, you will gain 20% boost in score. So it's like I said in the past, 7 star episode plates are not meant to be used as life skill support, although they have the best um, general stats um, if you're planning to aim for a high score. But I still think a, a 6 star episode plate that's fully power up, powered up with a, with a very good life skill is still way better than using a 7 star episode plate. In terms of a life skill support. So yeah, so Kaname's episode plate definitely takes the cake for this month. Um, sadly to say, Basara fans, once again, I'm so sorry <laughs> your husband is getting such a treatment. But yeah, that, that's the, one of the reasons why I don't see a lot of people sharing Basara's episode plate. Uh, I still see more Kaname episode plates being shared right now during the event. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, so yeah, okay, so I do have my 10 free tickets from the Special Pass subscription, so I will definitely be using that, including the one free pool, you know, so let's test the waters with this right now, let's see whether um, the luck for today is decent or not compared to the last gacha video. So yeah, considering that I changed my game over to a, um, a newer model, um, a lot of the data had to be re-downloaded, so the download bar technically isn't a hint this episode uh, unless it really really takes a very long time to load, so... Alright, so no luck with the single free pool. It is a 3 star episode plate, so I can expect, you know, pretty bad luck this time around. But, you know, it doesn't hurt to try. So let's give this a shot. Um, we're gonna go with Kaname's gacha first before we dive into um, Elaine's birthday step up gacha. Uh, so let's do this. I have. Yeah, I can do 10 plates straight away with the free tickets. So let's just use the free tickets first before we go to the discounted 300 stone pool. So we are getting two 10 plate pools from Kaname's gacha. Alright, some decent load there, like I said, do not really rely on it this time round. Here we go. One, two, three. So three Valkyrie animations, a pretty mediocre luck range. No red box on the first bling. Ooh. So yeah, as expected, you know, the luck was supposed to be bad considering that three pool wasn't a high rarity plate. Okay, we did get a bit of lag, so the plate evolves. Rainbow plate, okay, so, ooh, ooh, that's a surprise. So we do get Milane's uh, birthday episode plate out of Kaname's gacha. So that's a very nice big birthday surprise right there for Milane. Gotta appreciate that. <laughs> I think that pool alone was pretty much the highlight for this episode. Alright, so yeah, no evolution on this red box. Oh, that's not too bad. But you know, it, oh, it evolves too. Nice. Okay. Score one for Milane. <laughs> Alright. Okay, now that we've used up the free 10 tickets, let's go ahead with the, you know, paid pool at a discounted rate. So hopefully, um, we do flush out a bit of the bad luck. Maybe we should flush out the luck even more. I don't think it's over just yet, so I'm gonna do this. We're gonna have to pull the Super Dimension Gacha. Um, so I do have a lot of tickets, you can tell, <laughs> thanks to last month's um, Zodiac medals and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so we managed to exchange quite a bit. Then of course, if you guys have been doing the Air Frontier missions, I'm sure you're getting a whole bunch of uh, this Super Dimension Gacha tickets as well. So yeah, might as well make use of them to flush out the bad luck. So let's go with 10 ticket pools here. Hopefully the good luck doesn't come to this pool. Okay, so as usual they'll be loading because yes, new device. Alright. There you go. Oh, oh, seems like we're getting a bit of the good luck here. Alright, 5 Valkyrie animation, 1 red box in the first bling, but what? Second bling, no change? Okay, that does not seem right. So, if this is a bad pool, I guess we are flushing away the, bl the bad luck. Um, so yeah, so speaking of which, considering that I've um, changed 
you know, my account over to a new phone. If you guys want to figure out how to do that um, when you're changing a new phone, you know, that kind of stuff, or you want to transfer your account to maybe an iPad or a tablet, you know, that kind of stuff, I do have a tutorial video teaching you guys how to transfer. Oh, oh, evolution. Oh, okay, rainbow box. Aha, some mucky mucky love. Not too bad, not too bad. You gotta appreciate the mucky. <laughs> All right, so, ooh, it's a new plate for me. Interesting. Okay, I'm curious what costume points we belong to. Anyway, uh, speaking of which, yeah, like I was mentioning, I do have a tutorial video in my Utah Macross tutorial playlist. You can go check it out if you want to learn how to transfer your current Utah Macross account to another device. Um, I unfortunately I do have to update that video soon um, because it does not include like um, the questionaries um, when you load up the the game after transferring your account. They will ask you like. Um, are you a subscriber to the Uta Maku Pass or the Special Pass basically? Um, so yeah, so I have to amend that video or create a new one to update that you know, portion of the uh, sequence or the, the, you know, the way they, they basically proceed with transferring your account to a new device. So yeah, okay, let's take a look at what um, costume points this Makina plate belongs to. Oh, okay, so I've already fully unlocked this costume, um, so it's gonna lead towards, uh, uh, you know, spare episode ops, which is always fantastic, because you always want to unlock certain costumes, but you're always short of points, because your gacha luck is just not there. So yeah, okay, so we're gonna splash out more bad luck, you know, let's clear out all the bad luck with all the free gacha pools. That's how you make use of the free pools every day. Alright, of course, load, 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 load all the old stuff back in so that we will really see the true miracle of, you know, pulling something rare out of a gacha. There we go. So, yep, as usual, nothing. Ooh, okay, at least, at least it's an episode plate that is new with costume points. So, not an entire loss, although it's a common plate. So, I can always appreciate, you know, some costume points towards um, an episode haul. So, all right, let's do this. We're finally back to the paid gachas. Discounted template pool for Kaname. It would be nice to at least pull out Kaname six star episode plate. Um, definitely need a bonus booster for the current event. Anyone else find Parade to be exceptionally difficult for a level 20? Ooh, extreme song. It's it's seriously very difficult for me, <laughs> considering how many fast-paced notes there are. Even though it's like a low difficulty extreme song. Ooh, rainbow box off the first bling. Two of them. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. Once you flush out the bad luck, yes, give it to me. Oh, no evolution on this one. Okay, it is. Technically a Kaname plate, so I can appreciate that it's not one of the uh, most powerful ones, but still a decent plate. Alright, let's move along. We do have... Oh, it's loading! It's evolving! It's a 6 star plate, but whose is it? Oh, it's my waifu! I, I accept this wholeheartedly. I do not have this costume of hers. I am happy, even though it's not Kanami's happy so plate. Oh my god, another one evolves! Oh! Milane is back for more birthday celebration! Oh god, this this gacha video has just gone all the way up in the hype <laughs> train. Okay, so oh my goodness. Alright, so no more evolutions right there. Yeah, anyway, that's fine. No, I mean, we don't have Kaname's plate, but, you know, getting Ranka's plate, unlocking a new costume for my waifu, it's all good in my books. You know, I, I, I hope, I hope my bad luck for not getting a Kaname episode plate will go to you guys and girls um, who are big fans of Kaname. I, I wish you guys are able to pull Kaname's episode plate. Um, you know, because... 
I, I'm I'm definitely happy that I finally got my waifu's brand new six star episode plate. Uh, I've been dreaming to obtain it for so long because it is definitely one of Ranka's most sexy and cutest costumes out there. <laughs> oh god, I'm so happy, I'm so happy. Okay, I can I, I can finally add another gigantic you know, plush of Ranka in the decor room, if you guys still remember what the decor room is. <laughs> oh god. Okay, so I think I'm good. I don't think I have to pull Kaname's banner anymore, even though, yes, I would like to have Kaname's episode played for the month of February, but it seems like luck isn't exactly on my side. Well, technically, I do have the luck because I did pull out Ranka's six star episode played. So, but we're going to move on with. Milane's birthday step up gacha. Um, so if I'm not wrong, the first two steps are nothing special um, from the banner. So yeah, first step, um, six steps. So so they do feature episode plates that you know. Oh oh, Milane has another exclusive birthday plate. So that's pretty nice. Wait. Can I actually pull Basara's card episode plate out of Milene's gacha? Seriously? Okay! Wow, I didn't expect Milene's birthday step up gacha to uh, you know, be uh, able to pull out Basara's latest episode plate that quickly. So that's a surprise. Alright, speaking of which, um, in the last Utah Macross video, I did mention this, right? The Twitter un... Uh, Anketo. So, um, I do apologize first. Um, I kind of gave a bit of a wrong information there about you know be it being a Twitter campaign. Uh, apparently, it is not. Um, so Anketo is actually the um, you know, um, what do you call it? Um, questionnaire. Remember that questionnaire form that I asked you to fill up because Dana was asking like the fans what would like like to see um, improvements in Utah Macross back in December. Um, so yeah, so basically this Twitter campaign was leading towards that questionnaire form. So if you guys actually filled up the questionnaire form, one person will gain um, a set of Milane's episode plates. Uh, as a reward, and of course, the uh, another five people are gonna be randomly picked um, to to attain some other rewards and all that kind of stuff. So I I really really hope that you guys actually did fill up the questionnaire form, maybe to stand a chance to win some awesome episode plates, you know, for your collection uh, and all that good stuff. So yeah, I apologize on the uh, on on my past video. You know, I, I, I didn't really actually go and read up on what <laughs> the notification was. I, I just assumed, that's why in that video, I was like, wait, what was this? You know, <laughs> so so I was just assuming off the bat. Uh, so yeah, it's not exactly good to assume. So yeah, but you know, at least I came back to mention what it actually was. So hopefully you guys did manage to fill up that questionnaire form in December, um, you know, um, to, to help. Dana improve Uta Macross for the future. So yeah, okay, enough jibber jabbering. Let's move on to the step up gacha. So the first pool is discounted 300 stones, but you know the, the, the pool rate is just horrendous as usual. So I don't expect anything fantastic from this pool. But you know, if, if something nice comes out, maybe I should just stop. <laughs> you know, saving up the singing stones is always a good thing. So one, two, three. Four, five. So it seems like the good luck is flowing out after we flushed out all the bad luck. So that's that's a good thing. Ooh, nice rainbow box on the second bling with three red boxes. So that's hopeful, very hopeful. All right, let's clear all the regular boxes out of the way first. Okay, there's the first red box. So no loading there means no evolution. Lovely, lovely illustration. Probably from Mickey Moto. It looks a bit like Mickey Moto's artwork. <laughs> Elaine looks a bit hot and flustered. Okay, so here we go. The third red box, and hopefully that ra uh, rainbow box does evolve. Oh, oh, 
Oh! Oh, yes! Okay. One of the highlighted episode plates from the lane. Oh, it's new towards me. Alright. Yeah, it definitely looks like Mikimoto's artwork. So, let's see. Do I have this costume unlocked from the lane? I think I do. Yeah, I do. I do. I recall unlocking this because this is one of Milane's most precious costumes out there. Alright, so not too bad on the step one pool considering that the the percentage rate is kind of horrible on the step one. Alright, so step two does have its horrible percentage rate once again and it's slightly discounted at 350 stones, so not too bad. It's just step three and four are the better ones and of course um, 5 and 6 will be the most optimal pool. There we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the luck is still flowing on continuously. Got the, got to give the birthday go. Whoa! Two rainbow boxes on the second blink. Yep, got to give the birthday go some show. <laughs> Showmanship. You know. She has to show off her stuff, and there we go, the first rainbow box, so no evolution. Okay, I got my new plate fully evolved, just like that. <laughs> Alright, that's fantastic. Okay. Let's skip ahead with all the common stuff. Oh, some lag right there. No evolution. Okay, plus one luck on the new plate, that's fantastic too. Oh, I kind of skipped the red box, but that's okay. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, such a lovely illustration. Alright, getting all the Melane plates evolved. Fantastic. There we go. Oh! And here I thought I have unlocked the costume. <laughs> Alright, now I really have unlocked the costume. Okay! Alright, so just to double check, does this plate have a special... Okay, no special notes, but it does have the mode score up. So, Utahime mode, yeah. Okay, that's not too bad. So, it does it does help you recover score if you kind of um, miss on notes and that kind of stuff. So, that's not too bad. A pretty decent plate. So, here we are at step 3. Um, we are guaranteed one 5-star episode plate, but so far the luck has been fantastic. Um, I don't know, do we really need a guaranteed 5-star episode plate? It would be nice to pull up Melane's birthday episode plate though. You know, the, the really specific birthday episode plate that has the kick and all that stuff. So, there we go. Yep, the luck is still going on. So I guess the next video onwards is going to be horrible luck. Yep, there is the 5 star guarantee. Okay, red box is not evolving. That's fine. Ooh, something new. Let's go. Skipping all the commons. Alright, saving the best for last. Oh. Okay, we've seen plenty of this now. Plus 2 luck value. That's fine. <laughs> Am I gonna end up with a plus 5 luck on the episode plate straight off the bat? That would be insane. Alright, so step 4 now? Is it step 4? I've lost count. Yep, step 4. So another guaranteed 5 star episode plate. Um, here we go. So at 400 singing stones, slightly cheaper than step 3. Yep, 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 there we go. It's so rare to see continuous amounts of um, 5 Valkyrie animations. So yep, that's the guaranteed 5 star. Yes! I've got the exclusive birthday episode plate and my Millennium birthday step up gacha is done! 
Do I really want to pull the next step just for this 6 star? I don't know. I feel like it's not really that worth. Considering that it's only at um, 9% chance. I mean 0.9% chance. Okay, so another plate evolves. Will it evolve the birthday plate? Yes, it does! This is turning out to be a very excellent gacha video. Even though I did not pull out Hanami 7 star episode plate, but getting my waifu 6 star episode plate, fully evolving Milane's birthday exclusive episode plate, unlocking a new costume for Milane. <laughs> I think I think this is just fantastic on its own. Don't don't consider it a seven star excellent pool, but this is fantastic on its own. Seriously. So yes, yeah, step five doesn't have um a guaranteed episode plate pool. Let's take a look at the banner again. So yeah, but it does have that six star episode plate uh, chance of coming out at three percent. So that's pretty high, and. You know, 5 star plates come on, coming out at 10% chance as well. But do I really need more Milane plates? I don't think I need, because considering that um, I have Milane's 6 star episode plate fully evolved to its 7 star form already with, I think, a plus 1 luck value. So my Milane collection from this gacha is actually fulfilled. <laughs> I've gotten both of the other exclusive featured plates. Um, so, in my opinion, I'm done. I still have 700 stones left, and I'm gonna save it for the next two gachas. Um, so, yeah, I guess Minmei and Rei Rei. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna toss most of my stones on Rei Rei's gacha because Rei Rei is my second favorite diva from my cross franchise. Uh, so, yeah, then of course, yeah, like I said, Minmei fans and Reina fans get ready. Then, of course, there is the Mikumo fans and Freya fans at the end of February. So anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoy all the wonderful pools for Milane and Ranka um, for this episode. Um, I'm sorry Kaname fans, I didn't manage to pull out your waifu's episode plate, but I hope you guys did. Um, may my bad luck be your good luck. <laughs> and thank you guys so much for watching all the way through, especially if you did. I really, really appreciate you. And until then guys, I'll see you guys in the next Uta Macross video. Until then, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and talk to me in the comments down below. Bye!